Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, today we're going to do a really fun project. This would be great gifts for people. I've put some of it together to try to help make this go faster. So you may have seen my videos on these. This was just a print and cut, double sided. And then this was one I did a video on. This is just one sided. And we are going to do a project like these, but the word is gonna be family. And if you notice the difference in this, this one points up, I guess you can see better if I do it this way. Well, it's hard to see, but this one points this way and this one starts out pointing that way. So we can see the word better, the F-A is better. And this one, we kind of have this line between these. So when I was putting these together, it's not something I thought about before, so that's what happened. So this time, I'm gonna try to make it more like the words like this. But today, we're going to be working on a photo frame, double-sided, so it's gonna say family on one side. So there I have, can you see the texture? I use the cuddle bug on this piece. Look, you can hear the texture. Um, and we have picture frames on the other. I used acetate and kind of made these little frames that are also going to be on here. The white area is craft board. Hey, Bobby. Uh, and hi, Joan and Sue and Sandy and Jessica. Nice to see you all here. Thank you for coming. This, I, I think this is going to be a fun project. Um, somebody asked me in the video beforehand, they have a really big family, so they're going to have to make it really long. Well, if you want to make, you can make these as long as you want. And I'm having the word family on one side, but if you want to add more pictures, you could just add more of these on each side. So these get connected. Actually, I don't want them connected that way. I want them connected this way. Also, when you have these pieces, I folded this. I folded these two already. I haven't folded the other, so we'll be showing you how to do that. They come like this. So all the pieces, are like this. Now, if you support my channel on Patreon or on YouTube, uh, as a member, you have this file already. I just shared it today. And then you're gonna have one piece that looks like this in my files. So this one, the difference is this little edge here. This one doesn't have an edge. So this one is the ending piece. And I say that in the file that this is the ending piece. You do not need to cut out or write the word ending piece. You can hide that. I just wanted to make sure you knew, don't put the first letter on this one. You'll have to recut it. So this is the ending piece. See the difference? And something I almost made a mistake for, or I did make a mistake, on before. Make sure the pieces are all going the same way. See how these are going the same way? If I were to accidentally flip this over, they're going a different way. And it won't kill it. Let me see. I think I did that on this. No, this one they're all going the same. Did I do it on this one? Oh, no, I didn't on this one either. I think I maybe almost did. So I just want, that's something to look at when you're putting it together. And I was thinking, how am I gonna put this together? Am I gonna put the frames on it? Because they have, I did these frames, which I also ran through the cuddle bug. So I put these frames on, should I put all these down, put that down before I put them together? It would make it so much easier if I could do that, but I can't. Because I'm doing this double-sided, if I were to put the frame on this piece, we have to glue that down, and this part would only be showing that. The frame would be covered up because I'm doing it double-sided. 
So that's something else. So if you're making these, make sure you take notes during the video or re-watch the video and do it along with me or take notes or something. So do not glue these things on beforehand. You can do all of these, like I did that one, and then I did some letters. You can do all of that first, and you can do these first. Um, so first let's, I'm gonna show you how I did the little picture frame, and I did a lot of testing on this. A lot, a lot, a lot of testing on this, and I threw a lot away. Because what I thought should happen was not happening. And I thought, oh, I gotta tweak it a little, and the tweaking made it worse. And then so I did the opposite of what was logical to me, and that's what worked. I still don't understand how it does it like it does. Yeah, you can sign up now. Um, I'll have my assistant share a link to Patreon or the YouTube. Uh, under the video on YouTube, you can click the join button or you can sign up for Patreon of $2 or more. Thanks, Joanne. Yeah, I have 120,000 subscribers now. You guys are amazing. I used Cricut Acetate. And I also used the scoring wheel on the maker because the scoring stylus on the other machines do not score. Now, it's okay if it doesn't score. You can score it yourself, maybe on a scoreboard, or you really just bend. I don't know if you can see these. Can you see how that edges this little tab? And then it has two tabs down here and then another tab here. And it took, so this has slits that the tabs go in. And when I put them in the slits, I'm gonna show you what happens. So I put them in the slits and look, can you see what happens? See how that bubbles out? This is a problem I was having with these. And you can see this piece is bigger than this piece. But when I fold these in, so we're gonna fold these tabs all in. With the scoring there, it just makes it really easy. See how the bubble kind of went away? It still has a little bit of a bubble. And actually, after I glued these down, it was bowing out the opposite way. So it was more like this was smaller and the paper was bigger. It was the absolute opposite way. So I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this? So I'm not, I did not glue these down. I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm going to use pop dots. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to see what it looks like. And I also made these so you can exchange the photos. So once it's completely made, you can still take the photo out and put new photos in. I uploaded these photos as a pattern in Cricut Design Space. That way I could, there's white squares in the project and I could upload these patterns into the white squares and edit them to fit how I wanted them to. Hope that makes sense. Do we have any questions so far? Okay, if you have questions, just ask. Um, let's go ahead and let me do the rest of these while we're here. So there's a long slit, that's where these go, the bottom, and then there's a place for each tab on the side. And these are all made out of free images. The only thing that's not free is the font, it's Kate's ABC font. And you are welcome to change the word, change the font, 
you know, do your own word. You can put a last name. That would be cool if you not even just did family, but did a last name. And if you hear snoring, just so you know, that is my dogs. They lay next to my craft table and sleep in their bed. So I think this would be a great Christmas gift, especially for family out of town or not even family. Um, and to be honest, I stole all these pictures off Facebook. You could use this as somebody's last name. You could do this as a wedding gift. Um, you could put their last name and do pictures from their wedding or of their family or, you know, anything like that. Or just make it blank and then they can put pictures in it also. Or do it with a date. Instead of a name, you could just put a date in here with numbers or October 5th and... Okay, did I do... I think I did all these. Okay, here's, this is a picture of my son. We're gonna stick these all in here, get them done. This is a picture of my mom's dog. My beloved Bentley. And this is a picture of me, my brother, my sister, and our family dog, Barney. This was in 1986. Yep, I was a freshman in high school. Look at my sister's hair, it was a mullet. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now we're gonna put these together and I was just playing with these and I folded these wrong and I had to fix it. Um, no, let's do the letters first. So then we have everything set just to put together. It'll be easier. Okay, so this has two layers because this font has two layers in Cricut Design Space. The bottom layer is hidden in the layers panel. So please go to the layers panel, click that little closed eye, open it up so you can get to the other layer. You can change them to whatever color you want. In my file, the back letter is black and this is black and I just used white instead of black because that's what I wanted to use. Joan, that is a great question. My mom did sell her house. I'm so excited. They're selling all their furniture. They're selling their cars except for one. And... Um, they're, they've gotten everything taken care of. My sister's coming with a truck on Thursday to pick up my parents' bed and another bed and dresser set for the kids and um, some other furniture that they don't have room for here because their house is furnished and nobody else wants it. And they're doing that on Thursday. So Friday, they're gonna have the carpets cleaned and they're moving, they're gonna clean the house up and they're coming down this weekend. So excited for good, forever. They're never going back to Illinois. Well, that's what I say. I don't know, they don't have a reason to go back really. My sister lives in Indiana now. Okay, so we're gonna just, oh. So on the F, I popped it up. Can you see the little pop squares? So we're gonna do that. These are ThermoWeb. In the package, you get small ones and big ones. So for the letters, I'm going to use the small ones. And I used art glitter glue from MayMayMadeIt.com. 
on this. You cannot buy this in the winter because if it freezes, it ruins it. So she does not take any chances. If you live in a warm climate, you can call there and maybe get it shipped when it's warmer. She's in Alabama, so it could be good enough. Um, so if you want it, you have to stock up for the winter. Kind of like a squirrel. Do squirrels stock up for the winter? Or is that bears? Or both? If you have questions, go ahead and ask. I'm trying to read and do this at the same time, which probably isn't a good idea. Oh, Karen, what a great idea. So these frames, yeah, you can make these. And if you want them bigger, if you want to use these in another project, you can use my file. You get hundreds of files in uh, if you support me. And you could just grab the both of these and make it bigger. Um, you would have to ungroup it because these are kind of all grouped together. So ungroup it, grab the acetate, and grab the square with the slits and put them on top of each other and just drag them from the corner in design space. Grab this little handle right here and just drag it bigger. You can make it any size you want or you could even make it taller or make it different. Okay, now sometimes this little piece is hard to get off. I push these down really well and then take off this paper and sometimes it doesn't want to come off. Sometimes I use a weeding tool. And try to get it off. I don't know if it makes it any easier or not. Sometimes I have trouble with these and sometimes I don't. Okay, bears hibernate and squirrels stock up. Okay. Oh, okay guys, don't do everything I do in order. First, I wanna glue this onto here. So I'm gonna add the glue to here. Just kinda of try to center it in there. and then stick the letter on. This cuddle bug uh, folder we used is, I think it says fabric swatch on it. So it kind of makes the paper look more like fabric. And what I really like about using the cuddle bug, let me see if you can see that. There's a shadow from my camera. What I really like about using this is it doesn't look as homemade. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't just look like paper. Although you could use vinyl you could use party foil. You could use leather. Oh my gosh, leather would be so pretty. Now I want to make one with leather. I feel like I need to cut this off. I got these scissors from Mamie I made it too. Okay, 
Okay, I cut one of these in half, so I'm going to save the other half and use it on something else. Yeah, leather would look really cool with this. To let make leather frames. I can see use this in black or the craft board, the color, and uh, make it in leather. You could do the leather frames. You can make everything in leather. Now I want to make one in leather. Oh my gosh, I can't get that off. Okay. Whoops. Oh yeah, Joan, great idea. You could do a college themed one. You can make any word or numbers or letters or shapes. You don't even have to do a word. Let's just all hope I put these in the right order and spell the word correctly. So I got those on there. Push them down. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I have not made one with chipboard. The reason is you cannot score and bend chipboard that I have figured out. Um, I could do it with craft board, like make this base craft board and maybe put chipboard on it as part of a frame or something or cover this entire piece in chipboard you would not be able to use chipboard on this part it would not score and bend like this so you could not use chipboard in that part you could cut a square kind of like this square and completely cover it in chipboard possibly but I, I don't know if that would work. And I'm not going to use all my chipboard to find out. I'm looking in the camera to see if this is straight. Yes, when I cut poster board, I just use the fine point, the regular blade, premium fine point blade that it comes with. You do not need a knife blade. You do not need the deep cut blade for poster board. Almost done with the letters. Wow, 
Why does this part take me so long? <laughs> Longer than putting on the letters. All right, we're almost done with this part. And then we'll start putting these together. Callie, can you bring me my hugs card? I wanted to, I did a video on this card. It's over here actually. It's closer to me than you. <laughs> you guys, do you remember I did a video on this card two years ago? These images used to be in an exclusive circle cartridge. So if you didn't own this cartridge, you could not even buy these images and use this card. So uh, you also get this card if you support me, including these and hundreds of other things. So this card, we found this, and I'm reposting this on Patreon because these images are now available to everybody. They are now in access. So if you don't own that circle cartridge that these came from, you can either get access or you can purchase the images, I think. I think you can purchase them. I don't think they're excess exclusive. So this is my hugs card. This was like the first card I made like this. And these images were in a circle cartridge, but now they're available for everybody. So I'm reposting that because a lot of people could not make the exact card. Now you can. I'll add um, a card of that video in the video afterwards. Kathy, now you have the cartridge in access. Isn't that awesome? All right, we got the words. Okay, it's your guys' jobs, the one watching live, to make sure I put these in order. Okay, how do you spell family? F-A-M-I-L-Y. Let's just go ahead and do that now, right? Is this correct? Okay, set these off to the side. Um... These are fun. Like, I like these. You can make a memory game with images on it and turn them over and, I don't know, the things that come to me. Okay, now I have this here for a reason. You need a Disney uh, pass holder annual card to finish this project. Okay, I'm kidding. But I use this to help me bend this. And I'll show you that when I start to do that. So I did it on this one. And I had to play with this to figure out how I'm going to do this because I've never done a double sided one like this. So I'm going to have to glue all these parts together before I add the frame. So the frame is going to go on like that. And then these are going to go here. But I can't put these frames on. It'd be so much easier to do that now, but I can't because they're gonna be overlapping this. So I'm going to glue that together. Does, um, Design Space does have some monogram fonts. 
but I don't know if it's like that circle one. I think there may be one kind of like the circle one. Now I have to make sure I do these right. Now, if you're not familiar with doing paper crafts and you haven't done a lot, my suggestion is cut out two of these. And if you mess one up, don't worry about it. Just do another one. It's only paper. So now that's going to sit up like that. Um, so we're going to take another one. Remember, we're leaving this one that doesn't have that foldy edge. Foldy edge. I just made up that word, I think. That goes last. Oh, and we have to fold these. So before I fold these, I usually have to figure out how it's gonna work. So this is folded this way. So the inner piece has to go up this way. So we're gonna do this, but we cannot glue these together yet. Do not glue these together. Otherwise, you can't put the frame on this piece unless you slice a hole and work it around, which will make it much more difficult. So only glue the bigger pieces. We're not doing the inside, okay? So right now we're only gluing these pieces together. And this one we're folding this way because this is gonna go like this. See how that takes shape? So then this part will be folded out this way. So I'm putting my card right there on the score line and kind of using it to help bend it up easier. It just seems to help get it there better. So I'm going to put glue here. Make sure they're going the right way. So now this one is going to go here. So this one will get bent out this way. And I cannot see the score line on that side. So I'm going to bend it up this way a little and then bend it back will help bend it. This is craft board, not cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker. And that's going to go there. So always place it down before you glue it so you can see which way it's going to go. Thank you for subscribing. So as soon as you glue it on, you should kind of press it down to make sure it does fold flatter. Okay, then we have this one's going to go that way, and this one will fold up this way. So we're going to glue this thing. And then make sure... Yep. It's always best to double check. Make sure the edges here are even. The edge, the top and bottom. That can throw you off if it's not. Okay, now this is the last piece. Hold on, something's not right. I folded it wrong. I think it's 
I'll do the other way. So I'm gonna just fold it the other way and put that there. Now you can make this as long as you want. You just cut out more of these pieces. You only need one end piece and you can do as many of the other pieces as you want. Good. Um, okay, so now we can kind of lay this flat and now we can glue these on. So I'm just going to add some glue. And this gets put in the middle, so it kind of has a frame around it. And it is a little harder when it's all put together. If you're seeing me do this part for the first time, I never actually put this whole thing together. I put the other ones. Okay, I just had a thought. I need your guys' opinion. Now what I was gonna do is put this here and put the words here. And then these were gonna go on the other side with this color and then this. So it mixed up the green and pink or whatever color these are. Kind of like that. This is all Cricut cardstock too. Or should I alternate these frames and do like that? Do green and then do pink. No, I think I'm going to go my first plan. Do it all one. Yeah. I think I'll do that. But you have so many options. You can use pattern paper. Like I said, leather would look really cool. Joan says, stay same colors. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is going to go in here. And remember, those of you who have my files, or if you don't know, most of my files are ready to cut unless you want to customize them. So they're already sized like my large flowers. I've seen a lot of people share files that is just a petal, and then you have to go do a lot to it. My files are, you get, you just hit go, especially on the flowers. You load up your paper and that's it. You don't have to size anything or all of that. Oh, good point. Art glitter glue does not have glitter in it.
And this is pretty easy, guys. Did anybody see anything that was so difficult that they thought they couldn't do? I realize I'm not done yet, but it doesn't really get any harder. So on these, make sure, especially since they're uh, embossed, make sure you press down the whole thing, not just the corners. Otherwise it was kind of bubbling up. And remember, if you're watching the replay, you can watch and fast forward. You can hit the options and make it go faster. I sometimes watch videos in double speed until I get to a place that I need to listen. Or I can usually listen in one and a half speed and understand it all. Oh, see like this one. I didn't press down on this one enough. There we go. Flatten that out. All right, we're good on this side. So now we're just going to flip it over and now we're going to do the other one. Sorry, I could not do any of this ahead of time because you do you do have to wait until it's all put together. And I wanted to put it all together on video to make sure you knew how and understood it. And in the description of the video is the file to this, the post where you can get the file to this. Um, the name of the circle cartridge it used to be is things, something to remember for that other card. So now you can go into Cricut Design Space and search cartridges and search, you can probably just put the word remember. Oh, it is. I thought I was being careful. That's the one that I had to refold. I'm like, oh, this is folded backwards. Oh, man. I can't change it now. See, you guys, I told you to be careful. That's why it was folded backwards. Oh well, it'll still work. Let's hope that's the only mistake I make. It's probably not noticeable when the project is done. But it should have been my first clue that it was folded wrong. Not going to stress about it, like May May says.
make a difference? Wait a minute. Let me check. I gotta make sure. Yeah, I, that's okay. If not, I'd be showing you how to fix something. I think. Yep. Okay, we're good. As long as this longer piece is on the same, there's none on the end, the same way, we're good. And if those of you that don't understand one's backwards, see how I was explaining to put them all this way, and I have one facing this way. It's really not a big deal. Okay, so now that we have that, oh look, you can even make something like this, but I think it's more fun to have these going like this. Okay, so now we have these inner pieces and this one is gonna be folded this way. So there are a score, there's a score line here and here on each one of these little things. And what I like to do is just bend it a little. And we used craft board, so we had to use the scoring wheel. If you don't have the maker with the scoring wheel, you can try to just score it on your own on a scoreboard. It just goes straight down the middle from one point to another point, from that point to this point, okay? Or you could also use cardstock. This one was just made with cardstock. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's just do one of these at a time so we don't mess up. So what I'm gonna do now is we gotta bend this and we're gonna bend these up this way. So we're bending these so they go that way. Don't get ahead of yourself just because you might do it the wrong way. Not that I think you're dumb, that because it's just a thing, I would do it too. So now I'm gonna glue this I think this way. Because it's double-sided, it doesn't really matter, but I think it'll stick better if I fold this this way and then glue this underneath that. So we're gonna do glue. Okay, let me say the longer this is, this might be harder. So I'm gonna put glue down here. That has glue on it. And then we're gonna push this on top of that and make sure we get it straight. If this is not straight, your whole thing will be messed up. So make sure it's even on the top and bottom and it's an even line across there. Now I don't always, and you can go like this, kind of push that down to make sure it's straight too. Make sure that glue is dry. And then we're gonna do this next one. So the next one has to meet this one here. So we're gonna bend it this way. And then this needs to be bent that way so I'm gonna bend that up this way because then that will go around this one like that one so we're going to glue that together I don't know if this is hard for you to see I'm gluing this flap on this side So I have glue on it, so hard to see guys. And setting that on there, gonna get it straight. And you gotta kinda hold it until it dries. And 
and bend it before it's completely dry so you know you're not over the score line. You do not want to go over the score line or it won't bend. Does that make sense? Uh, there is not any indication in the file to use um, craft board. It's not a must to use craft board. I just suggest it because it's thicker. You could also use poster board. Okay, so we got that one done. So now this one is gonna be flipped up. See, it's just gonna go the opposite of what this is. So that's gonna go there. So we're gonna bend this and bend this piece. will be bent out this way. So now we're gonna put glue on this piece. Once you get going, it'll it'll go really easy. And kind of bent it to make sure you can still bend it. Cuz you don't want to put it over the score line okay now let's go ahead and start oops, see I let me go down start putting our letters and stuff on here so you can see it better and I do have another camera let me grab that real fast So here's the other camera, and you can kind of see. Um, let's go ahead and start putting some of the words on, or letters. So that's just going to go right there. And I'm going to use the glue. And remember, put it on there so it has a little room around each one. Don't dry so quickly. There we go. So you gotta kind of move around these pieces. And then the faces, this will actually, the front of this is actually the end of it here. Um, let's try this. I, I decided to use foam pieces and not glue these things down. I don't know. Every time I glue them down, they weren't, they were, they made things worse. <laughs> so we're going to try it. I'll just try it with one right now. And I'm going to put some of it over my little tab, just a little bit over the tab, and mostly over the paper in the corners. I don't know. I might need to put more over. I think it'll be okay. All right, let's try it. Now remember, these pictures are easily taken out and exchanged.
I'm trying to do this so you can see it. I'm gonna try to get it in the center. There, I think that'll work good. Yeah, this file actually took me a really long time to make because I, it took a lot of testing that didn't work. And this isn't something that I got an idea from anyone else. It was just the idea from these that, oh, I could do a picture frame. Put acetate in front. And then my idea of doing that is not what worked out. Like, because I was thinking just glue the acetate on the front of here, but then you'd see the glue. Even if you use tape, you can see it. So I had to make a way so you could not see the acetate being adhered onto it. Because no one wants to see that. And first idea was not good enough. Second idea didn't work. Let's hope this works. I never did a whole test cut. It was mostly working, trying to get these frames to work out. I probably should have put one in the center of it, but it's okay. That's gonna be so cute. I love that. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Okay, let's get the other letters out. Now I'm getting excited. Oh, where are the letters? Family. I could pop these up too, but that's an awful lot of popping up. Am I doing this right? F A M, right? Knowing me, I would do it wrong. Okay, now we gotta put that with this. This is the one that's wrong. So it really, it really won't make a difference. Nobody would know. Most people wouldn't notice it was wrong. So I'm gonna fold this one out this way. We're gonna put glue on here. Remember, try to keep it straight. Fold it. Oh, it's not straight. Thank God. Fold it a little bit. Oh, I need more glue. You could use red tapes too, or dry adhesive. The problem, I don't, the reason I don't want to do that is because I don't get it on there perfectly the first time. And this glue gives you a little bit of leeway to um, move it around after you have it on there. It gives you enough time before it's completely dry to do that. No, the chipboard won't work because of the scoring. Yeah, I was thinking that too, it would look great on a mantle in Christmas colors. And you could just put, you can make a huge one that says Merry Christmas. And then maybe put um, Christmas pictures from all the past years of Christmas. Or you don't even have to do the back. You do not have to make it double-sided like I did. You can just do one-sided and it would be a lot easier, to be honest. Okay, this is our last one. Okay, how many people in the chat think they can do this?
Hey, Sheila. Sheila, you would really like this. I think, uh, oh, okay. I did it right, you guys. Let me tell you what just scared me. Make sure you put them on correctly. Like there's the F-A-M and these. I thought for a second I put these upside down, which I guess would be okay, but it would you'd have to flip it over. Because you can set these on a table or something, and this keeps popping up right here. So I'm just going to stick some glue under there and push that down. Come on. So it says family on this side and pictures on the other. Changeable pictures. Okay. Family. Okay. I is next, right? See, now it goes faster. Once you get this done and once you know how to do it, it'll go faster. And I think it's kind of fun. I think it would be really cool in leather. Sticking my tongue out. Good thing you guys can't see me. Did you ever do that when you craft? Isn't that awesome? And it feels really sturdy. And it has so many layers on it. Okay, let's put the rest of the pictures on. I'm so excited. Uh, let's put him first. He's the oldest of the grandchildren of my mother. We'll put him in order of age for the grandchildren. And for those of you that just joined us, these pictures you can take out and redo the pictures really easy. Even after they're on here, you can take them out. Hmm. Might not be as easy when they're on here because there's a thing in the way, but you can, I think, I think. <laughs> that was my plan that you could. Maybe you can't. Now we got to figure out a way to do that. Okay, let's just say it's best to put the pictures in before you glue this piece on. There's a dog sneezing at the door. Yes, Sheila, this file is for you. You already have the file if you go to Patreon or the YouTube community page. 
If you're a YouTube member, you get my files on, you have to go to my page and go to community. If you're not a member, you're just a subscriber and you go to my community page, you won't see the file, but you'll see some sales maybe, or any other announcements that I make. This is my niece, Samantha. This is my nephew, Connor. Oh my gosh, Lynn, thank you so much. See, this is why I like to do things live. She says, can you turn the opening to the side? Yes, you can. You can have the opening, turn the opening on the side, you would never know. Oh my gosh. Look, I just turned it on the side. Oh, but you have to depend on which side. You have to do it to the outside. Um, so this one, I'm gonna have to do this way so I can pull a picture out this way. Oh my gosh, Lynn. Everybody go subscribe to Lynn Loves Chalk Chat After Dark. She just gave us the biggest tip ever to be able to easily change the pictures out. Thank you. Oh wait, I didn't pick the things off. But don't put it on the side so it's it goes into the side here. Remember, on the side and the out, so they would be opposite each time. So you can turn these around, it doesn't matter. They're even everywhere. And the picture's not gonna fall out, especially on the side. Thank you so much, Lynn. That is the best idea. I didn't even realize how I was putting these in. I'm like, oh, how am I gonna get those pictures out? I could rip this off and then put it back in. And cut out more. Thank you, that is the, oh, I feel like you saved me. There, now you can switch it on the side right here. Oh, great idea. So this one, I don't wanna put it the same way, otherwise I can't grab it out from this side. You can only, you have to turn it so it comes out this side. So you have to really pay attention to what you're doing. Sheila, you can't lay them flat. It doesn't, it won't go flat because these are connected. Sheila just joined us, so she didn't see the beginning. So Sheila, before you do this, you can cut this file out, but do not start putting this file together until you watch this video, at least up until this point. Because in the beginning, I talk about you can't put these things on until you glue all this stuff. You have to do things in a certain order on this project. There we go. Yay. I'm gonna, I'll put the other camera up in a minute. So there's family.
See, this is as far as it will go. It will not lay flat. You can't get it flat. Okay, let me switch to my cameras. There we go. Oh, you can't even see it. Let's get rid of all this. Isn't that cool? And then you can turn it around and you have pictures. What do you guys think? You like it? And like we said earlier in the video, you could put someone's last name. You could put your last name. You could put a wedding, you know, last name for a wedding, do wedding pictures. Um, you could even do class of whatever, class of what year is it? 2018? And do um, high school pictures or grades, you know, go one grade at a time and make it longer. If you needed to make this longer than your word, you can add more of these and just put some blank ones or put a little image here, a little picture. Uh, you could do this, put a name, a little girl's name on it, and you could put Hello Kitty image on the edge. You know, you it's... You can do anything with this. And put pictures. Isn't that awesome? I'm really proud of this one. A lot of times my Patreon supporters will give me a picture and says, can you do this in design space? This one, I actually thought of all by myself. I'm like a little kid. Look, mom, I did it all by myself. <laughs> I really like this and I'm so glad I decided to use the cuddle bug can you see the the texture it adds and this would be awesome for Chris for every single holiday on the mantle I don't have a mantle but if you do every single holiday would work or just do pictures All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. This was a long video, but um, it was fun. Yeah, the texture really does make it pop. And it kind of looks like they're floating, like the pictures are floating. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Remember, there's links below if you're interested in this. Uh, on Patreon, it's a $2 supporter. And remember, you, you're not paying $2 for this file. You're pledging to me because you appreciate my videos. And these are only a perk. And you get hundreds of files. You get this file. Oh, wait. I'll switch cameras. You get these files. I got lots of these, some Christmas ones that are really cool. I love this. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions and you're watching the replay, just click down below and um, ask in the comments. Thanks, guys. Love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.